Recently, the Dry Soda Company of Seattle sent us some samples. Uh, these products are natural and they're lightly sweet and more of an adult soda. And one of the flavors they sent us was lavender and it's actually really good. Uh, lavender is a pretty hot herb these days and today I'm with Kathy Garrett who has written Discover Cooking with Lavender. Welcome. And Kathy, you're going to show us uh, a drink you can make from scratch with yeah, lavender. Yeah, make your own soda at home. And um, this is lavender lemon soda and it's very, very easy to make, quick to make. And you need lavender buds and the best ones are culinary. You can buy them at bulk, um, in like at Whole Foods in the bulk section, or you can buy them right on the regular. Isn't that amazing? So there is a difference, though. I mean, can you can you use any lavender from your garden? You you or can just use, some better than others. Right, English lavender is the one to use from your garden. Okay. The Spanish lavender, you know, with the showy little buds, right. the rabbit right. ears, right. is really very bitter. So I wouldn't use that. Okay. English so look for lavender, culinary lavender. That's right. Okay. That's right. If it's in the and, spice and herb section, it should be okay. And it's very easy to harvest your own, and it grows so well in the Portland area. And Why not? Sm smells All great. All of Oregon, actually. So what so are we making? We're starting with a lavender syrup, and you start with a simple syrup. This is one cup of water, and I've got it in a gentle boil. I'm adding one cup of sugar, and I'm going to stir this in, to dissolve the, um, the sugar. And David, maybe I could ask you to do this while I measure out the culinary buds. That would be fine. Okay. That would be fine. So we're using dried culinary buds, and I would recommend one teaspoon. One of the things about lavender, it's very intense, and you do not want to overdo it. Okay. Because if you do, people will go, this smells like soap. You don't want to get that reaction. Right. So it's a simple syrup, and we're just going to infuse it with lavender. That's right, with the flavor of lavender. And um, this will need to, to simmer for 10 or 15 minutes and cool. So what I did is I made some ahead. Okay. And just look at the lovely color of this syrup. It's more, it's more pinky than blue. I would have thought yeah. it would have been blue. Yeah. And when the, when the syrup is ready, by the way, you strain out the lavender buds because you don't really want those in your drink. You just want the essence of the lavender to perfume the syrup and make your drink really delicious. Okay. All right. What's next? Now, we need to squeeze some lemon. Okay. Can I get you to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice into here? Okay. Um, I've squeezed some already, and we're making uh, two drinks, so we would need a half a cup. And I'll start in putting in the syrup. You got a big lemon there. It's kind of like <laughs> it's not going to quite fit. Uh, we'll okay, so I'm putting in a quarter of a cup of the lavender syrup and drizzling it over the ice. And I'll put a quarter of a cup in each glass. There we are. Okay. And um, now, if you would add about a quarter of a cup of lemon to each of the glasses. Okay, so I don't have to measure it. Just no, approximate. just approximate it. Oh, perfect. And I'm going to need something to stir it with. I'll use this measuring spoon. Okay. And then. Fill the rest of the glass with the salsa. This is this, mineral water. This, this couldn't be easier. Yeah, and you know when you make your own soda, you know exactly what's in it. Yeah, so that's kind of a nice thing, and you can start to be creative and innovative and um, add whatever you like. So we're going to stir this around, and then I'm going to oh, gonna garnish it with a dry lavender bud because we don't have any fresh quite yet. Um, but Is dry best for making the simple syrup? Um, actually, you can use fresh or dry, but if you're using fresh, you're going to want to use more than if you use dry. Okay. So, because the dry is intense. So, taste that and cheers. Cheers. Thank you. That's really good. Refreshing. That's very refreshing. You can always add a shot of vodka or gin if you want to make that, an adult drink. That's a great <laughs> idea. And uh, for more information on the recipes, we'll have uh, the recipes on fusionnw.com. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.